today we will talk about very hot topic taxes what we did here is that we compared the four provinces with population over 4 million and 28 states with population over 4 million in Canada and US to see who is paying more and what we did is that we calculate the income taxes for 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, that's individual income uh, and, and also sales taxes. But what we did is that we made like weighted average of them to represent an average person. So that means that each of those like incomes got a specific weight and the first column is representing the average person in Canada and the US. So what we didn't consider is the municipality taxes. In Canada, that municipal tax is only property tax, but in the US is beside property tax, which is typically higher than Canada. Many cities have their own municipality income and sales taxes. So that means that the real taxes for many cities in the US is higher than what you see here. So what we find is that in the top of the list is Quebec and then Ontario, then BC, then Alberta, then US states of Minnesota, California, and Oregon and Illinois. In, and in the bottom of the list, you can see Florida, Texas, Washington, and Tennessee. These four states don't have a state income taxes. So that's not surprising they're in the, like they have a very competitive like taxes. Specifically, when you look at like Texas and Florida, which are very large, with very good job opportunity, it's very interesting to see the taxes that they are paying that makes them very attractive for a skilled worker. So one thing that it should be added here and it's very important is that in the like in canada the tax covered the health free health but in the u.s not so then it means that in the u.s in many cases like the employer per, pays the significant portion of your health premium maybe 80 percent and if you're low income again you get subsidy from the government uh, if, but even in these two cases you pay like a few thousand extra from your own pocket and if you're not covered, like means you are not covered by your uh, uh, employer or not, you're not low income, you may even pay 10,000 for health premium. So what does it mean is that at end, if you consider the health costs, like some cities in California and like maybe New York are very close, like, you know, in the total cost to like cities in British Columbia and Ontario, but as still Quebec is ahead of the list because it's 5% more than even Ontario. Thank you for listening.